A long-standing goal in computer vision is to capture, model, and realistically synthesize human behavior. This would enable virtual humans to navigate within cluttered indoor scenes and naturally interact with objects. To that end, we present SAMP for scene-aware motion prediction, which is a real-time, data-driven, stochastic motion synthesis method capable of generating diverse realistic human scene interactions. SAMP has three main components, goal net, path planning module, and motion net. Goal net predicts the goal position and orientation for the interaction on the desired object. For example, this helps the character to know where to sit and which direction to face. The path planning module computes an obstacle-free path between the starting location of the character and the goal location. Motion net predicts the pose of the character in a sequential manner. Motion net is an autoregressive conditional variational autoencoder that generates the pose of the character conditioned on its previous state as well as the geometry of the interaction object. Motion net has two components, an encoder and a decoder. The encoder encodes the previous and current states of the character and the interaction object geometry to a latent vector z. The decoder has two components, the prediction network and the gating network. The prediction network is responsible for predicting the next state. The weights of the prediction network are computed by blending a number of expert weights. The blending weights are predicted by the gating network. Crucial for training SAMP is a dataset that depicts rich and diverse human scene interactions. Existing large-scale motion capture datasets are largely dominated by locomotion, rarely capture the scene, and lack diversity. Hence, we capture a new dataset covering various human scene interactions with multiple objects. In each motion sequence, we track both the body motion and the object using a high-resolution optical mocap system. We record multiple sequences of each action with different styles. Our dataset has about 100 minutes of motion, covering sitting, lying down, walking, running, and idling. We synthetically expand the data using an efficient augmentation pipeline similar to Neural State Machine and SM. We detect the contacts of five key joints of the character skeleton and the object. We then augment our data by randomly switching or scaling the object at each frame. When switching, we replace the original object with a random object of a similar size selected from ShapeNet. For each new object, scaled or switched, we project the contacts detected from the ground truth data to the new object. Finally, we use an inverse kinematic solver to recompute the full body pose such that the contacts are maintained. In contrast to previous deterministic methods, SAMP generates a wide range of diverse styles of the same action while ensuring realism. SAMP can adapt well to different interaction objects. Please note that all of our results are the raw output of the motion net without any post-processing. The character lifts its legs when sitting on a high chair or table but extends its legs when sitting on a very low table. SAMP is also capable of generating diverse running and walking styles in different directions. Given a target object, the character needs to know the exact goal position and direction on the object's surface. We address this by introducing GoalNet. GoalNet is a conditional variational autoencoder capable of predicting the goal positions and directions from the voxel representation of the object. GoalNet allows SAMP to reason about where an action can be executed. To train GoalNet, we label various goal positions and directions for different objects from ShapeNet. These goals represent the position on the object surface where a character could sit and the forward direction of the character when sitting. We augment our data by randomly scaling the objects across the X, Y, and Z axis. GoalNet generates multiple valid goal positions and directions for various objects. Notice how GoalNet captures the affordances of different objects.
A person can sit sideways on a regular chair. This is not valid for an armchair. Sam uses the different goals generated by goal net to guide the motion of the character. Starting from the same position, direction and initial pose, the virtual human follows different paths to reach different goals. It also sits in different positions and directions on the same object. Without goal net, the character cannot sit in the right position when presented with a new object. In NSM, the goal is defined by the object center, which is not valid for all objects. This leads to significant penetration between the character and the object and invalid interaction. To ensure the character can navigate inside cluttered environments while avoiding obstacles, we use the A-star algorithm to compute a collision-free path from the starting position of the character to the goal. Sam uses a navigation mesh defining the walkable areas in the scene. Without this module, the character often walks through objects in the scene. We observe similar behaviour in NSM although it uses a volumetric representation of the environment to help the character navigate. We compare our architecture to a feed-forward MLP network and a mixture of experts. Both the MLP and mixture of experts take a longer time to execute the task and often fail to execute the lie-down action. They also generate implausible poses sometimes. In summary, we presented SAMP which takes several important steps towards creating lifelike avatars that move and act like real people in previously unseen and complex environments. SAMP outperforms the current state-of-the-art and we will make the code and data available for research. Thanks for watching.